Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. It's Friday. Um, I did not go work out this morning, and I slept in, and it was amazing. Um, so, yeah, she didn't get up till like, 8, 8.30, so best sleep ever. And I'm just drinking my greens. Uh, she's already had breakfast. So I have my starters, because I'm going to try and make bread today. And... We're either going to go to Session Stand or Tuesday. I just texted my friend Gracie to see if they wanted to come with. And then we'll just see what happens. But it's supposed to rain starting at like 2 p.m. So we're going to get out of the house this morning because that means we won't be able to play outside later. So I'm probably going to make myself breakfast really quick and then get us ready to go. My current breakfast fixation is sourdough with two poached eggs and microgreens and arugula. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make poached eggs because before I was making this, I had no idea and I actually think that they are the easiest eggs to make because sometimes like scrambled eggs make me sick to my stomach <laughs> after I eat them for a while, like they just start to gross me out. If I get on like a huge scrambled egg kick, then when I'm eating scrambled eggs, they kind of start to gross me out after a while. And then I'll like switch over to fried eggs, but it's just like, really hard to fry an egg when your non-stick pans are no longer non-stick so i was like okay i'm gonna try a poached egg because i saw someone do it on tiktok and also for the base of the toast i mixed together this goat cheese from trader joe's the garlic and herb one with butter and oh my god it's just so good so for a poached egg all you have to do is boil some water so I have my water boiling right now we'll just go in the order of operations in which it takes me to complete making this breakfast I have my toast with my goat cheese and my egg so we're done with that did you already eat all your berries Sutton's obsessed with blackberries lately she has been killing them these organic microgreens from Trader Joe's as well though so I just do a little layer of microgreens a layer of arugula and then then we do a drizzle of olive oil oh my dad's calling me hello dad ended up calling me in the middle of me making breakfast and i just talked to him for an hour because he's driving it to um a meeting or something in winston-salem so Anyways, I was just talking to him. We were on the phone for an hour, so essentially, let me just take you through the rest of the steps. But you boil some water, and then you put some white vinegar in the pot with some salt. Let that come to a boil after it's already boiling. Like Just pour it in and then let it sit in there for a minute. Then you crack an egg into a bowl, and you do one egg at a time, and you just drop it into the pot. You put it in a bowl so you can like lower it in there better. And then you do one egg, and then you do another egg if you're doing two. And then after that, you let it boil for two to three minutes, but I always do like two and a half. And then you fish it out with a little spatula. Hi. And then you're good to go. And I just top it with salt and pepper on my toast. And then it's so good. You can crack open the yolk. Come on, let's go upstairs. Anyway, so we're a little delayed because I was on the phone with my dad, but talk to him and, you know, leave. So anyways, um, while I was talking to him, we were just playing downstairs in the playroom. Now I'm about to get her dressed. Initially, it said that it wasn't supposed to rain today until 2, and now it was getting dark, and I looked at my phone, and it said rain at noon, so I'm like, okay, cool. We're still gonna go. Worst case scenario, we can just have, like, a little car date, so we need to get set and dressed, and her pants changed. You guys, look what just got here. I ordered some new glasses, and they just came in the mail. Um, they are the brand Celine. And please look, they came in this beautiful box with this really pretty glasses cover. These are like real prescription glasses. And you guys know I get all of my glasses from glassesusa.com. And I wanted to thank glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video. If you guys didn't already know, glassesusa.com is one of the biggest eyewear retailers in the US. They offer thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses from brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, so many more, and also contact lenses. And what's great about glassesusa.com is the glasses only start out at $39, which is up to 70% off retail prices. I get my prescription glasses from glasses usa but they also offer blue light glasses options so they offer a collection of advanced blue light blocking lenses and blue light glasses are ideal for protecting your eyes at home or at work or even outdoors
hours. Something great about blue light glasses is if you're using them during screen time, it actually helps reduce your eye strain, it can decrease headaches, and it can also improve sleep. There are a ton of choices on glassesusa.com, so if you're ever feeling overwhelmed by the amount of choices, you can take a quiz and it'll help suggest the right pair of glasses based on your face shape and your needs. My favorite feature about glassesusa.com is their virtual AR try-on. So you just use your phone and you can try on glasses right from your home so you don't have to go into a store or anything. It's super convenient. You can just flop through different eyeglasses and it also gives you suggestions in case you like something that you're trying but you want to see something similar. And it is just so useful, especially for someone with a round face. I have to try on the glasses before I pull the trigger because sometimes they look like they're going to be wide enough for my face and they just aren't. So I use that feature to find all my frames. It's super helpful. Also glassesusa.com is a risk-free shopping experience. Have free shipping and returns and also a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. So Love Glasses USA, cannot say enough good things about them. Let me show you some of the frames that I have in case you want to get some ideas. I know a lot of you guys have bought the blue or the green pair that I have because I have two of the same color. Those are my absolute favorite. Having the pop of red for spring and summer I thought would just be so fun. And also these are Celine, so they're such a fun brand and I can't see a thing right now, so I'm really hoping that this is in focus. But I just love these so much. They're so stunning. I love the wider side. And I thought it would be so fun to switch it up. And Colin is obsessed, by the way, you guys. He was like, wait, those are the coolest glasses you've ever had. So yeah, they're super fun. I feel like I can wear them with an outfit as an accessory. And they would just make my outfit look so cute and so elevated. So I'm just really excited about these. When I saw them and I did the virtual try on, I was like, yes, immediately. I'm going to be getting those for spring and summer. And then here are the glasses that... I have shown you guys time and time again and I'll have the names of these glasses on the screen as always but I'll put these on for reference for you guys this is the blue pair and then again I have them in green as well but I love both of these just the shape and everything how like the whites pop out um, these are one of my go-to glasses I've been wearing these for months and they are so stunning and then let me show you another option just to, oh wait I just opened that one okay these these are fun and different too with the tortoise. I love for my glasses to stand out a little more. A long time ago, I used to just like want the sleekest, like you can't really notice the most minimal glasses. And now I'm like, glasses are actually such a statement, whether they're prescription or blue light or whatever it is. Um, I think that they can just really elevate an outfit. You can be really fun with your glasses, which I love. So we have these tortoise ones and I love the bridge of the nose on these as well. So I will put the name on the screen in case you are a fan of these and want to pick them up for yourself. I'm putting my red pair back on them because I am truly obsessed. Like I'm going to be wearing these with my full outfit. But yeah, I'm so grateful for them. I'm so grateful that they always give you guys such a crazy discount and I'm so grateful that they have affordable prices that don't break the bank and you can still get fun and fashionable eyeglasses or blue light glasses. I get my contacts from them because it's so much less expensive than getting them at my regular eye doctor. And I fully trust in GlassesUSA.com and I'm so happy to be working with them. Thank you again GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Click the link for that exclusive discount in my description box and let's continue on with the vlog. Can you say outfit? Aye. Gray hunter boots. You want to bring that in the car with you too? Perfect. Her little cute little hunters. And then her cute little hunter boots. We're kind of parked on a hill but I drove to session stand. It got us a parking spot which is always nice. Sometimes it's hard to find parking here. And we are just going to grab coffee, grab a snack, and play for a little bit. I mean, I've seen a couple raindrops and it's not even noon, so I'm like, ooh. But we'll see. Do you wanna get out? I'm like so tired, I need coffee. And the weather, the weather is making me super sleepy too. But anyway, here we go. Your shadow, the rest just a blur. I try so hard to remember more. The sweet 
sweetness of your breath The joke you always told The way you wore your hat When it got cold Somehow I'm forgetting The details of your face Back home We pretty much beat the rain, which was nice, but it's oh, raining outside now. I had to grab her pacifier. Come here, let's go to night. We are, we're getting ready for nap time. And then I have no plans for after nap. So we are just pretty much having a very chill Friday. But session sand was fun. Lately, sometimes when we go out and we leave places, it's like she does not want to leave. But that whole experience was pretty smooth. Didn't cry once. Was just having a good time, happy to be there. It was just like a really relaxing outing. Some outings are not relaxing. Other times it's great. And today was one of those times where it was great and we had such a fun time. So anyway, we will see you guys after nap unless I can successfully put her down, in which case I will tell you if I did. Alrighty, you guys. Um, post nap time took us a while to go to sleep today. So it's fine. Um, but when she didn't fall asleep, we did the two hours. So anyways. It's fine, I think she's just, honestly, I think we're still thrown off from daylight savings and everything is just different. But, that or it's a two year sleep regression, it's all the things, it's fine. But we have just been playing, haven't really vlogged very much. It's been pouring ever since she woke up. We had snacks, we've just been playing in here since we were out and about this morning. We actually just got off FaceTime with my dad and my little sister. They usually FaceTime us. Oh, see ya, sister. Are you getting on your bike? But yeah, we're just waiting for everybody to get home from work. We're just gonna do leftovers for dinner, so. All right, since Colin just got home, I'm going to take the soup out, let the pot cool off, because it's freezing, before I heat it up. We'll do rice in the rice cooker, all the things. In the last vlog that I posted, you guys were on me about how often I touch my hair. So we will be working on that from here on out, but I do, I, it's a bad, it's bad, it's bad habit. It's a bad habit. Hi. Yeah. I don't know either. Are you hanging out with me tonight for real? If you want me to. No. You're not getting it. Well, you said you wanted to hang out, so I thought that was what we were doing. Maybe you can convince daddy when you're older that you need an aquarium with some fish in it. Hey, Colin, what was your day? Bye. Holy cow. Uh, better than yesterday. Uh, better than yesterday? Yeah. What? Colin got in trouble at work yesterday. Uh oh, why? I mean. I'm kidding. Hey, guys. It's a little bit later. I showered and it's Friday night and I'm like, well, why not? Let's make some popcorn. You know, I'm not really like a dessert person really, usually. Like whenever we go out and get ice cream and stuff, I usually just only get something like smaller, just have a few bites of somebody else. Like I just am not a dessert person. I'd rather just have like a big meal. And then if I am craving something, more likely than not, it's like salty. So I'm definitely a popcorn girl. I'm very picky about my popcorn and my favorite is the Thrive Market movie theater popcorn. Oops. I think that would be good. Colin and I restarted Vikings, the show Vikings. So we have been just watching that because I feel like nothing new is really out. Like I would love for a white, new White Lotus or the new House of Dragon. Like a show like that. I would love, but I feel like nothing's really out right now. Sea salt. So good, so excited. I've got my bath massager, I've got my popcorn, I'm waiting for Colin to freaking stop taking so long in the shower so we can watch Vikings. And I'm gonna eat my popcorn and get my neck massage and my back massage, and I'm too excited about it. Good morning, we're headed to Solid Court. Saturday morning, 
normal routine. Stay back, and then you're bringing the elbows to a 90 degree bend. Great there. Now keeping a nice, slow and controlled pace. We are almost at the finish line. Give a hand for Jackie for her first class here. So tough. Also, I was like heated for a second because the schedule said shoulders and I was like, oh, shoulders, exciting. And then we got into like upper body and we started doing triceps. And I was like, wait a minute. It said shoulders, and then we just did a little bit of triceps, but I was like, what? I was like, in my head, a little upset, <laughs> because I was like, wait, we're supposed to be doing shoulders, and I was excited about it. We did do shoulders, just a very little amount, which is like, whatever, at least we did some, but I tried to film, but my angle was literally horrible, so it is what it is. We're headed home. Oh, wait, no. Are we getting, do I really feel like going to Valor? I really don't. I'll go to Valor tomorrow. Can you help me? Can you give those to Gigi? Thank you. Give me thank you. Hand it to Gigi. Thank you. <laughs> I was busy cleaning. Oh, I need to move the table back. I was mopping the floor in here and I completely moved the table out of the way. But I guess I could give you guys an outfit of the day <laughs> from right here. Um, I'm taking those pants to Abby who does my hair, but here's my outfit. Um, this is from Revolve, I'm pretty sure. And then I have these Abercrombie jeans and I think that they're the I can't even remember what they are maybe they're the 90s relaxed jeans I haven't worn them very much um I got them I feel like it was like a month ago now but I rolled them over and actually really like them with this outfit because I really prefer my loose jeans because I like the looser look these are a little bit more fitted but they're cute and then Helsa belt and I'm wearing these sandals that I have from Steve Madden. They're super cute. I actually got them on Amazon. And I think they're like a designer sandal dupe. But anyways, here's my outfit. I'm going to do my lips in the car. The lighting's just better in there. But I thought that this was cute. Anyway, so I'm going to drop off these pants with, for Abigail. And then I'm going to go get a pedicure. I have not gotten a pedicure Maybe since the fall or last summer even because I don't know my toes just have like nothing on them right now and I really only do them in the summer when my my dogs are out okay did that real quick I don't have an appointment so hopefully it's not gonna take me like forever to get in because Iowa basketball place today at three and you guys know my mom and I are like invested don't worry guys I'm cleaning my car tomorrow my mom and I are taking our cars <laughs> to get clean tomorrow to like the self-serve like tidal wave places. I'm also just going to Parisian and West Cobb because like I just don't really care about a pedicure. I care way more about my nails and how those look so yeah I don't really care. So that's why I'm like whatever I'll just go get my toes done because it's so close so convenient less expensive main reason. Okay guys, I'm done with my nail appointment. I just got yellow on my toes to match my nails except I didn't do chrome because I feel like chrome on your toes would be like just unnecessary. Um, and then I just ran by Starbucks really quick because I'm honestly fully regretting not going to Valor earlier because usually when I do that like right away in the morning, I just bring it home and I put the coffee in the fridge until I'm like ready to drink my coffee later. I don't know, I just feel like usually around like three o'clock on days that I haven't had half my energy drink in the morning around like three o'clock i'm like oh, i need coffee so bad so anyways it is three o'clock i was going to go to tuesdays and then i completely forgot that 
Iowa was playing today and my mom was like you need to come home we have to watch this so I'm headed home now but stop by Starbucks really quick I just got a brown sugar shake and espresso with only three pumps of brown sugar instead of six um, and then I got set but a cake pop because had to you have your cake pop is so good <laughs> can I sit with you He wants her cake pop. The game's over. The sun just disappeared. It keeps going behind clouds. Just got the most exciting package of my entire life. And three people sent over some stuff. And I already took it out of the bags. I just put it all in the box. Let me show you guys what they sent over. And then I'll do a try on haul on TikTok or something. Really, just the lighting is all over the place. But they sent this, which is so cute. I feel like this with my striped blue boxer shorts would be very cute. Then, like my striped shirts that I already have from them, I saw that they came out with a pink and orange. So they sent over this. I'm so excited about it. And I like, I think I had one of them on yesterday. Or the day before, I was, I don't remember. But anyways, they're so comfy. Then they sent over this cute little top for spring. We're going to Charleston soon. I feel like this would be very cute in Charleston. And look at the back, it's open. It's so pretty. Just like a little baby doll top vibe, which I love. Also, look at this shirt. This comes in orange and blue too, but I really liked the green and the cream. I got a pair of barrel jeans. Um, I got black because they had my size and I've been wanting to try out the barrel jeans. Plus the patch and stuff is really cute. And then it just ties with this rope. So we're gonna try these out. Another top that they sent was this little blouse, which reminds me of my red one, but just a little different. This one actually comes in red too. I sized up because I didn't want any like cleavage or anything showing, um, and it goes up high in the back, but this would be cute for Charleston too. So will these shorts. We're not even going for that many days just for a wedding, and then we're spending the weekend there with Colin's family. Um, I'll get to that in a second, but. um. I have these shorts to go with this top and for them to just like pop out underneath and I thought it could be a cute little set the pinks are a little different but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal and then this ties and I think that this is gonna be so cute and then just like another pair of boxer shorts these actually run kind of big I'm wondering if I could have gotten a small but we'll see I mean I guess I don't want them to be like super tight but yeah, I cannot believe. I will have all this stuff linked. I'll probably put like the try on of the video or whatever on the screen. I can't believe they sent that stuff though. Like I was so excited when I got the email about it. It was the best news ever. And like so grateful. So anyways, had to share because that's the cutest stuff ever. And I'm like so excited. Huge career moment for me. Very, very exciting news. We did Chinese for dinner. Uh, I was so hungry. I was hangry. <laughs> Sutton, can you say I got a braid? First braid. Look at how cute. You just ever... Oh my goodness, you look like a teenager. We're having a pretty wild Saturday night. We're doing absolutely nothing. And I just love it that way. Activated. Good morning. I just pulled up to Solid Core. Little repeat morning of yesterday. Um, working up by myself today, so we're just waiting for class to get closer. I'm trying to get into Pilates for tomorrow morning, and I'm having a rough time, so I don't even know if we will be going tomorrow morning. But anyways, happy Sunday. Starting off the morning feeding the starters. Just a quick little trip to Solcore. I had to get home so Colin could leave. I'll do a smoothie for breakfast and then I'm gonna write out my to-do list for today because I have a lot that I wanna try and get done. Good job. I just want to have a busy, productive Sunday. So I'm going to write out a to-do list while I'm drinking my smoothie, and then we will go from there. Can you bring me your shoes? Good job. Good job. Here, you put it on. Put it on. No, this foot. This foot. This on here. You put it on. You can do it.
There you go. Thank you. Okay. Now let's try this side. I gotta open it. Okay. Put it on. You put it on. You can do it. You can do it. Here, you put it on. Here, turn your foot this way. Okay. Put it on. Okay, can you buckle it? Here, put it on. Good job. I'm just gonna make sure it's tight. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, I've changed and got ready for the day. Also just filmed a little free people haul. I just put on this outfit. I'm gonna go get my car washed, vacuum it out a little bit. Go to Tuesdays, I think. Um, trying to convince my mom to come with me. But we're both gonna go get our cars washed. So anyways, I'm just wearing Princess Polly sweater, jeans, and Asics. And it's like randomly freezing today. So I figured this is like my last opportunity to wear this like super cute pink sweater. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're wearing. You guys full body view cute just vacuumed everything now I'm just finishing off wiping everything down she liked that yes yeah, she loved it I got a strawberry lavender latte and a banana bread for me and Sup, but the split. I have to go get gas, then I'm headed back home um, to do laundry with myself. Something great about the Oura Ring, and I've said this before, is it tells you what phase you're in in your cycle. What the heck, I need gas. My car is like, yo, we're not gonna make it much longer. And, um, I'm in my luteal phase and today's day one and I was like really feeling irritated today and I was like tired, irritated, fatigued and I was like, you know what? I am gonna go get coffee, clean my car, get out in the sun, get out in the air. Colin and Sutton are hanging out and I was like, we are gonna conquer this luteal phase. successfully had an unproblematic gas experience. I'll fill the rest up at Costco so I get a bit of a discount, but we have to have gas to get to Costco. So here we are. I was on literal E, like my car said, please fill me up. I forgot to explain to you guys about the Charleston thing. So my best friend from high school, middle school, elementary school, middle school, high school, Jack, is getting married. Um, in Charleston in April. I'm literally so excited. I did just order my dress for that and it hasn't shipped yet. I'm getting a little worried because it was like not, it's a website I've never heard of before, but the reviews were good. So I'm just really hoping that it was legit and it weren't like not fake reviews. I'm really hoping that they weren't fake reviews, but I ordered my dress for that. And then initially I was like, Wesleyan, we should go to Charleston for that weekend. But I didn't realize the wedding was a Friday wedding. Or actually, I was like thinking back and I'm pretty sure Jack said at one point that it was a Friday wedding, but I completely forgot until we got the invitation. And I thought it was a Saturday wedding, but it's a Friday wedding, which actually is better in retrospect because then you have like more days of like fun after. But, well, the wedding's gonna be fun. But you see what I'm saying? Cause then you like get there, we're gonna get there Thursday. Then we have Friday and then the wedding Friday night. And then you have Saturday and Sunday and we're gonna leave Monday. But Wesley and Zach would have had to like ask off for work and stuff because we would have needed them to watch Sutton at the wedding because you can't bring babies to the wedding. And that would have just been like a lot and a big ask for them. So then we asked Colin's mom and she was literally so excited. It, it was cute how excited she got. So now we're just spending the weekend in Charleston with Colin's parents. And it's super convenient because Colin and, um, Colin's dad and I have the same birthday, which is the weekend before. So now we're just like doing Charleston and we can celebrate our birthdays there. So yeah, it's fun having the same birthday as Colin's dad too because then like we all celebrate together. We used to in Charlotte, but that'll be fun. So that's kind of like what I'm thinking about with that. And I 
me to book our Airbnb. I sent them options and I think everyone's just busy. No one's gone back to me. But um, I was like, okay, you guys let me know what you want me to book. I'm excited. And Colin and I have been talking and we want to take like a little family trip to 38 Rosemary Beach. We've been talking about it for a long time and then something came up last year. Oh, Colin got, okay. We were gonna go last year and then Colin got asked to work on a film in Montana. So we had to literally cancel our trip, which is fine because it was like way before. We got to cancel it and got our full refund because it was like a, um, enough advance notice. But yeah, he went to Montana and then like we've always been like, okay, yeah, we need to reschedule that trip and we just never have. So I was thinking in the fall, maybe we can reschedule that. But we have Charleston and then we come back and we have a wedding in Charlotte in May. And then the following weekend in May, we have his brother's graduation. So we're flying to Syracuse because his brother goes to Cornell. And then a couple weeks later, we're going to Minnesota and then it's like chill after that. So we got busy. Your girl is booked and busy. And it's not even like a lot. I know people who are influencers and stuff travel way more than me, but that is like my realistic amount of travel. Like I don't really like to leave very often. I'm quite literally the biggest homebody ever, even though I don't really like Georgia as my home. But it's like, I'd rather be home than traveling. And yeah, that's on that. I know I don't travel as much as other influencers do. And these are all like family ventures and family travels. It's not even like business work, but traveling is a big deal for me, okay? It takes a lot of effort to get me to be like, yeah, let's go. Cause I'm just such a homebody. All right, can I lift this up to show the vlog? Chicken for Indian going in the crock pot and I'm working on the naan bread right now. I'm about to mix, 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 mix. For an hour. My naan is done. I just need to shape it and cook it, but I can't do it until right before we eat. Snacking on salami, and I'm about to head down and clean up the playroom. successful then you do garlic butter and then I have fresh parsley chopped fresh parsley putting it on top and then I'm gonna let it cool there looking good okay here are my nons honestly so excited to try them but I think that they turned out amazing okay this is the half baked harvest recipe that's the, the this dress cooks recipe but we're gonna try it out I like it Maybe we should try making butter chicken next time. Oh, shit, handsome sleeping man. Morning, you guys. We have been up for a while, but I am just now picking up the vlog camera, mainly because I was trying to decide if I wanted to carry this vlog into today or not, and I just think that I'm going to. Colin and Murph are on a walk right now. I tried to get into the 6 a.m. workout class and could not get in, but I got into the 11. Come on, baby. 
let's go. Okay guys, here's my Pilates outfit. I'm wearing my Aritzia long sleeve, my seductive navy blue set with this Outdoor Voices cardigan on top because um, it's freezing again today, which is so weird. My Asics, so. That's my little Pilates outfit. I ended up getting here so early, I thought that there was gonna be way more traffic and there was quite literally no traffic. Finish my energy drink. Um, So I'm about to go in. But I have not taken this girl's class before, but I know, because I looked her up on Instagram, because I just like to look people up before I take their class if they have an Instagram, which usually I feel like Pilates instructors do. Um, I know that she's like a really, really good coach and she specializes in private sessions too, so. I'm excited. Hopefully it's not too, too hard. This body is really freaking hard, but I'm gonna go. Okay, guys, I'm done. That was, in fact, the hardest Pilates class I've ever taken. And she was such a good instructor, though. I loved her so much. I texted Carrie about it. I wonder if she answered me back. She didn't yet. But anyways, her name was Hannah. And um, I loved her class and now I'm at this place called the daily drive past it so many times on my way home and I've been wanting to stop and today I have time to stop so I'm gonna stop and grab lunch for Colin and I okay I just ordered my food had to go to the bathroom so bad but look at the bathroom it's cute <laughs> wait till I show you guys out there it's really cute Okay, I'm back in the car. That was the cutest place ever. I have to bring Colin back. Okay, first of all, let's do a little mukbang. Okay, the latte is amazing. I got an iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Then I got the green smoothie. I just got the 12 ounce. So let me try that with you guys. I'm like, I just cleaned my car so I cannot get trash everywhere. Okay, this is super good. It's very refreshing. Colin got a sandwich which I'm gonna bring home to him, obviously. Uh, here's his sandwich, that looks so good. I need to hurry up and get it home to him. One second. We're only 25 minutes away from home right now, so it's not like too bad. 25 minutes in Atlanta terms for me is like 10 minutes. 30 minutes is like 15, 45 is like 30. It makes sense in my head. Okay, trying the breakfast burrito, I'm starving too, so I'm like, Mm. oh my gosh there's pickled onion in it and I love pickled onions breakfast potatoes egg avocado oh my gosh wow let me take another bite I've got nothing but good things to say if you live in Atlanta I don't know if a lot of you guys live in Atlanta do you guys live in does anybody live in Atlanta who watches me or in Georgia like, I don't know. This is so good, though. Oh, my God. I am going to be obsessed. Just got back home. I'm about to put Sutton down for a nap now. Okay, guys. Little Miss Sutton Button is taking the best nap ever in her crib right now. And it is such a good nap that I have gotten all things done that I had planned to not even do today, thinking that I would be sitting with her. But she fell asleep so quick, and I was like, mm, maybe she's sleeping really hard and I can put her down in her crib. And then I did, and she's been in there for hours now. I'm working with Hilara on TikTok. I've filmed that. I've edited and uploaded another TikTok for free people. Okay, Colin's finished up with work. He worked a lot last night because he felt like it, so. He's done. We're gonna do this little painting craft that I got from Target. I got an extra one for us to just do, and we haven't done it yet. And then I have two more for her Easter basket, so I'm gonna set this up. Look, we've got some paint brushes and some paint. Bring this down so that we have a good, nice base that can collect the paint if it starts going everywhere, that's all. See, look. And now we got some paint. Daddy's gonna open this. Bye-bye. Sutton, can you say pretty? Pretty. Oh, he hasn't even started painting. No, no, no! 
She wants the things closer. Here. Okay, my camera died, but here's our flowers. Colin still needs to finish his, but 